first scientists made this amazing discovery. Earth was the only place in the solar system known to have oceans. Now, they believe that a vast salty ocean lies beneath almost 15 miles of surface ice on Europa. The body of water could be over 60 miles deep and contain twice the amount of liquid water of all of Earth's oceans combined. If you take the total amount of water on Europa, both frozen and in the liquid state, it would be about two to three times the amount of water on Earth. What force could create an ocean so far outside the solar system's Goldilocks zone? Here, 500 million miles away from the warmth of the sun, all the water should be frozen solid. It's likely the same force that powers the ice volcanoes on Enceladus. The gravitational pull of Jupiter on Europa causes Europa to bend and flex, and that movement releases heat inside. This tidal flexing could produce enough heat to melt Europa's icy interior. The possibility of liquid water oceans in Europa has attracted the attention of scientists on the hunt for alien life in the universe. Throughout our exploration of the solar system, the mantra in our search for life elsewhere has long been, follow the water. Well, Europa is where the water is. On Earth, every body of water contains some type of life, even if it's only tiny microbes. In fact, humans most likely evolved from microscopic organisms living in ancient seas. Could there be life in Europa's ocean? Well, for life you need water, but then you also need an energy source and the proper organic material. So on Earth, it so happens that pretty much wherever there's water, there's life because you have those three components. Life on Earth gets almost all its energy from the sun. So where would life find energy on dim and distant Europa? And is there something strange about the water that could bring the search for life crashing back down to Earth? With its deathly cold weather, it seems impossible that alien life could be found on Jupiter's ice moon Europa. However, there are living things that thrive under similar extreme conditions. On our own planet's cold seafloor, devoid of sunlight, creatures find energy and nutrients from hydrothermal vents, which pump out heat and chemicals from volcanic regions. At the mid-oceanic ridges, where the volcanism is going on, there is abundant life. There's tube worms, giant clams, in an environment which we would believe was completely inhospitable to life. So, a similar underwater environment might exist on Europa. Now, if we have similar ingredients like we have on Earth, maybe Europa has the heat and volcanic zones on the ocean floor that has allowed life to evolve and generate. Or perhaps the essential elements for life on Europa come from a more unlikely place. When Jupiter's magnetic field blasts Europa's surface with radiation, it leaves behind a cocktail of chemicals, including oxygen. If some of this oxygen is brought into the liquid water ocean, it's possible that the ocean of Europa could have enough oxygen to support the European equivalent of squids and jellyfish and crazy looking sea anemone and all sorts of bizarre things like that. But there's one possibility that might make life in Europa's oceans very challenging. Certainly there is oxygen perhaps making it to the subsurface ocean, but so is a lot of other stuff like sulfuric acid and hydrogen peroxide and things that we normally don't think of as being very conducive to life. 
So you might have an acidic ocean in Europa that would be bad for most types of life as we know it. What would happen if Earth's ocean suddenly turned to acid? Imagine San Francisco's Golden Gate Bridge suspended over an acid bath. In the presence of an acidic ocean, you'd have a lot of acidic spray and a lot of acidic fog that's just hanging around in that area, and it would eat away at the steel structures and support beams of the bridge. Combining that with the acid eating away at the concrete foundations of the bridge would mean it would be just a matter of a few years to decades before that bridge became structurally unsound and wouldn't be able to be driven on. And it most likely would collapse. Until scientists are able to get a probe through the ice and into Europa's ocean, the exact makeup of the water will remain a mystery. But the hope remains we may someday find alien life in a most unlikely place, the frozen depths of the solar system's ice moons.